It's horseshit. I don't have time for this crap you eating and other people's problems. That's a YP, not an NP. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. So spooky in here. It's so spooky. What's that? Uh, I keep hearing sounds. Oh, is it my little orange light? Maybe. It's been a while, kids. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Are we starting? I already started, bro. Oh, all right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. It's been a while. Episode what, Sean? 36. Shoo. Shoo. I can't remember when the last time we did this. It feels like it's been a long time. It has. It's it's um, been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. Welcome. It's Halloween time, hence my spooky environment. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you're all having a very spooky Halloween holiday time right now. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Oh my god, that's, that's, that's all you have. Are you doing anything special on Halloween? I haven't really I talked not. to you about that. I am not. I uh, sadly, I am not. Uh, I get on a plane at seven in the morning the day after Halloween and uh, fly into to Savannah, Georgia, and uh, got got work to do. Got spooky work to do. Sorry, I'm picking spooky my teeth. Movie. Um. So, no, I'm going to probably, we're going to hang out here, probably watch scary movies, probably hand out some candy if there's trick-or-treaters. Uh, let's see, Saturday night, Stephanie has a uh, thing to do with her jewelry. So I'm going to help her out with that. Uh, I got packing to do. I got to finish building some spooky stuff right down to the wire before I go uh, for this show that i'm doing and um so no i'm not really I don't have any halloween plans sadly yeah we're probably just gonna decorate and pass out candy that's the plan for halloween night which i'm very happy to do i mean i love doing that so um yeah. that'll be fun and uh yeah we're going to see danny elfman friday night doing the nightmare before christmas concert I saw that at the Hollywood Bowl. It was, it was emotional. It was awesome. Made me cry since it started. <laughs> yeah, I saw his very first when he did his very first. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it wasn't Nightmare for Christmas. It was like the the music of Danny Elfman, like, and he did with an orchestra. Did like you know Edward Scissorhands and Batman right. and. And then they came out and did a few nightmare songs, which was amazing. And then he, ever since he's been doing the nightmare performances, I'm always out of town every weekend. Uh, and this yeah, time I, I went and saw that it was <laughs> so amazing because they had Catherine O'Hara came for the first time and sang. And, mm -hmm. uh, everybody came. It was amazing. She came out her. I think my, her and Tim Burton came out. At one of the time I saw him, so she came out and did did the the finale song with him. Um, but uh, at this one, Pee Wee Herman's going to be there, yeah. Ken Page, and doing Sally is Billie Eilish, hmm. which is random, but should yeah. be interesting. It is random. Yeah, is my environment too spooky? You think it's it it's pretty spooky, but I I I kind of dig it. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it too spooky can this show get too spooky, too See, spooky. i wish you would have called me ahead of time and said dude i'm doing spooky lighting maybe you should too this wasn't my idea this oh. was Stephanie's idea. i was like i just was in here doing some stuff and she goes you gotta make it spooky put some pumpkins we just carved pumpkins i carved that one right there mm -hmm. she carved that one right there and she and we were like you know she goes she put some pumpkins out or something geez i was like okay okay i always got my pumpkins right there those ones are always going and this guy is always doing his little for sure his, his franken dance yeah um 
<clears throat> so yeah, it's been a while since we've chatted with the people, the peeps. It's the, nice um, to see everybody out there, even though I'm not really I, seeing you. In that, in that guy, and the one over there, I see them. Um, see you back there. Put look into the on. magic mirror. <laughs> Put your pants on. Um, yeah. It's been. And a I while. see I'm Jeremy, a- and I see Todd, and I see Becky back there. Becky, and, the and, only girl watching the show. Yep, she's <laughs> the only one that watches. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, a lot has happened since we did our last episode. A little movie came out, um, didn't do so well. Mm. Uh, only 50 million first weekend or something like that. Um, Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. We can finally talk about it legally. Can't, can't kill the boogeyman. The NDA is <laughs> over. Is over. We yeah. can talk all you want. You guys can ask questions. If I feel like answering them, we will. Uh, like like this, he just go. Loomis is in it. Look, I just did it. <laughs> Loomis is in me. the movie. <laughs> Nobody can stop me. <laughs> Michael kill again. <laughs> There's a '78 flashback of Loomis. '78 mask is mm-hmm. in it. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, um, can't stop yeah. me. Yeah, it's out. It did well. It continues to do pretty good, um, uh, considering a pandemic still slightly, and also it coming out on Peacock as well. No, you know? which was poppycock in my opinion yes but uh uh so uh very happy very happy with the response although you know with uh with all the good you you got to take the bad it's a divisive <laughs> it's a divisive franchise it really is it always has been yeah and this is definitely a divisive film yeah. um a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it uh, a lot of people middle of the road. I mean, it's yeah. it's kind of all over the map, um, which, you know, that that's great. To me, that's a success because when a movie comes out and everybody's hating on it, then that's bad. You know, this, this is getting a lot of love, too. I mean, yeah. and I have to say, and this ain't me just, you know, kissing your ass. I think a huge part of that is your work you did in it. Oh. I mean, I mean, everybody is raving about the stuff you did. Oh, shit. Thanks. Shit. So, uh, go on. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> stop it. Uh, uh, stop stop it. it. Really, you need yeah. to stop. Uh, it. Uh, thank you. That's really nice of you coming from you. That means a lot. And uh, uh, yeah, well, that's I, what the I'm, other people are saying. Oh, I'm, not you. Yeah. No, no, oh, not me. Okay. Not me. But the whole, the whole the spectrum other of the horror people. fans. Those. Not other me in people. particular, but right. <laughs> No. You know, uh, I think you kicked ass on it. Come I on. was thrilled with the way all uh, our stuff turned out. Yeah. Uh, very thrilled with it. Um, and, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with its reception. I'm thrilled with uh, um, all of our stuff. Uh, it, it was such a treat there for a few days that it was, I was getting so many good messages and, 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 comments and things it was it was just it was really nice because we've been sitting on it for two years and worked really hard on it uh and it was nice to see people appreciate i think one of the things i like about it the most is there are people that are appreciating things i didn't think they'd notice or so to speak i don't know like Mm -hmm. people are noticing the things that i wanted them to appreciate the reason why we did something so that was that was really cool and it feels really good um and you know uh i i i'd love to answer questions about it finally because it's been like i said two years of people asking so many questions and you can't talk about it you want to (laughs) so um i'm excited to to be able to discuss it talk about it and which we might be able to do do we want to announce it now sure go ahead but we we're we're gonna go live um next when is it Saturday, the Saturday, November, pulling up the old sixth, calendar, six, sixth, Saturday, November 6th. We're going to go live, live on YouTube, live on YouTube. We have figured out a time yet. We have not yet, but we'll post it Yeah, um, and uh, we'll announce it. And we're going to go live Saturday, November 6th. It's going to be fun. I'll be in Savannah, Georgia. Sean will be where he's sitting right now. Probably. And we're going to talk with you guys and answer questions. And if you have shit you want to talk about or answer, hit us up. So that's yep. exciting. So. Yep. So any questions you got about Halloween kills that we don't cover in this episode, 
right. feel free to ask away. Right. And right out the gate, yes, he wants to rehaul your masks. So please <laughs> message him directly and he'll get on that. <laughs> okay. Now that you brought that up, this is going to segue pleasantly into our get off my lawn moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, let's do get off my lawn. I have a couple and then okay. I know that you always have a lot. So not I, as I just much as usual. Couple. I can think of some, I'm sure, but go ahead. I'll start. I got my first one is not, it's not Halloween related. My first one is, does any of you get this? I hate when you get out of the shower and you sweat, you know, when you get out of the shower and it's hot out still and you're sweating and you, and you're like sweat starts dripping off you after you're out of a shower drives me insane i hate it it's so gross and i hate that so so and favorite. global warming that's all and he has global to say. warming so sweat glands get off my lawn anyway uh my second and big get off my lawn is guys <sighs> i don't know how many times i gotta say this i love you all you're great super cool we're all pals i'm not gonna rehaul your mask <laughs> I'm not going to send you a screen used 78 flashback mask. I'm not going to send you a screen used any mask. It's not going to happen. Stop asking. Stop sending me messages about it. Stop emailing me about it. Stop IMing me about it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I love you all, but stop it. This ain't going to happen. He's saying this with peace and love, peace, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Exactly. But any crap. requests for masks will get tossed. <laughs> <laughs> Cost aside, I don't do it. I don't have time, nor do you deserve it. Do not send fan mail to any address. Anyway, no. uh, I, I, it's Please love, and, peace lately, love. and here's the thing. If you're going to ask, if you have to, if you didn't hear me and you still have to ask, at least be polite about it. I'm warning you with peace and love, but I have too much to do. The, the biggest get off my lawn lately for me is, I, especially this week, in the past week, I get people sending me messages, so many people that are so rude. They just go, you will make me a mask and you will send it to me. And they just send me their address and shit. Or they go, how much will it be for you to make me a mask? How much for the screen used mask? I have a checkbook. Like, not please, not hello, not hi, how are you? Not anything, just you will send me a mask. butter them up before you do it. Something. <laughs> but don't demand it. <laughs> it's like it's insane it's like and it's gotten you will so come bad over and people are asking me it. people are now saying hey can you talk to chris for me and i'm like no really yeah <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> like, no 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 i will not and no objects to be signed nothing uh anyway peace and love peace and love um you know it's surprisingly I, I can't think of a good get off my lawn right at the moment, believe it or not. I know I'm usually the guy that has 15 of them, yeah. but I will just say I'm, this is starting to really get to me. This is my last, it's half full. This is my last one. Bait Johnson, Johnson. Baby yeah. Powder. You know, they, they discontinued it. My ball. I powder. have a bunch of big ones of the, of this one. Yeah. Of the, yeah. Of the old school one. Yeah. I'll take them. I have I'll like 10, 10 big bottles of them. Like I'll replace big. them with anything because this isn't the same. Nope. Right. This isn't the same. <laughs> this ain't doing it for me. Wait, is this still for your balls? Yeah. This, okay. This, I'm not giving no, you powder for your balls. No, see this out. one, this is the re you know, they got rid of the talc and it's now they changed the formula. It's not the same. I tried this not loving it. <clears throat> I tried not, this one. Um, if we're going to go on about ball powder. Right. Some out. girl in Manchester, England gave me these as a, as a gift. <laughs> so anyway, all I got to say is I'm really depressed that I'm running out of that particular powder. And if you have some, you can put it on my Christmas list, Chris. I'll take those off your hands and put them on my sack. Um, Are you done with the ball talk? No. Well, let me show you how, what how. Let talk. me show you what it's been doing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm out. Um, <laughs> by the way, I want to give a shout out to 
our friend at Away Team. Ah, yes. Who's been yes. hooking us up with some goodies. Yeah, tasty. I post. I posted tasty like the those little pumpkins. You have those nearby, or are they in the other I room? I don't. They're in the house. Yeah, mine are in the case in the other room. But awesome stuff that he he hooked, he made Nick Castle a, a mask stand and case finally. So Nick finally has it properly displayed. Yes. Awesome. Um, and it's been a while since we've done a show, so I want to give shout outs to some people that have you know been sending us some nice gifts. Um, Let's shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. Yeah. Wilted Cauldron. Is that, um, is that in reference to your balls? No, it should be, though. They sent they sent us a bunch of candles as a Fruity Pebbles. Oh. Scented can You got I gave you some of these, remember? Oh, yes. Lovely. And the, they, you know, another Fruity Pebble. And they sent us a bunch of cool candle stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, Fruity Pebbles candles. You got to check these guys out at Wilted Cauldron. AKA Sean's Balls. Candle Company. Wilted <laughs> Cauldron Candle Company. And maybe they'll do a tribute to me and they'll do a, you know, a candle of my nuts. A baby powder. Smell. That smells like baby powder. How cool like would that be? Powder. Yeah, Sound these are those are cool though. I wish you could smell this. Where is it? It's got friggin' Fruity Pebbles in it. it smells so, you, like you want to eat it, but you shouldn't eat it because it's a candle. Don't eat it. Okay. Sean and Chris, what's up? My name is Anthony, and I just wanted to start off by saying thanks to you both during this pandemic. Your videos were really positive part in getting through some days, and I wanted to thank you guys. Both of you take time out of your busy days and your families to entertain all of us, and I wanted to give you a little something to say. Appreciate it. And he put appreciate with a P. <laughs> Inside this box are two candles and some wax melts. I hope you both enjoy. My wife owns a candle company. Sean, if you want to announce the name, you can. Um, no, okay. It's called Wilted Cauldron. Sean, your candle I know you will absolutely love. It's Fruity, Pemble, Fruity Pebbles. And Chris, my wife made a special, a special candle for you. It's Kentucky Bourbon Chocolate Liqueur Butterscotch and Haystacks. Wow. And she, and she would like for you to sit back, light it, Take in the scents, only if you want, and name it for her company. That's right. You're supposed to wow. name that one. Oh, wow. Uh, Sean and Chris, you guys rock. And again, thank you for everything you guys do. P.S. I really didn't want anything from you guys, honestly, but it would be an honor to have signed photos. I th oh, I sent him the pictures. Yeah, I think I did. I hope I did. Let me know, Oops. Anthony. And I I'm pretty sure I did. It's been so long since we've gotten these things because we haven't done an episode in a while. I can't remember if I did, but I think I did. Um, and uh, I haven't lit that candle yet because I've, I've I've been wanting to save it. Actually, I didn't know I had to. I didn't know I had to uh, name it. The candle of two heads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the candle of two wicks. It's the candle of two wicks. As soon as I as soon as I light it, and I will soon. I will I will throw out some names for you. Okay. I haven't done it because I wanted to save it. I like to save our candles. And then that's awfully nice. Yeah. I got a letter here. For, who's this from? Ladders. Oh, so, ladders. This is from uh what the hell is this company called again? <laughs> uh, hopefully he says it in the thing. Hold on. Hey Sean and Chris, hope you guys are doing well. Please find and close some t-shirts for yourselves i gave you these at the halloween thing i'm wearing I I oh is that's one of them okay yeah yeah he's wearing one i hope you like them sean i guess he likes them he's wearing them sean thank you so much for agreeing to wear them in your awesome hhg videos i love them they are amazing i'm gonna wear this uh lost boys one in my lost boys video uh i really enjoy watching them along with all your other cool videos and podcasts awesome stuff just what horror fans need keep doing what you do I hope to get to meet you at a convention sometime. Please follow my Instagram and let me know if you want any more shirts or any design for yourself. Kindest regards, best always, Wayne. And that's what Savage Designs? Is that what it is? I think so. Is it? Yes, here we are. Or, or no, not Savage. Or I think his name is Wayne Savage. Is on, on. It's Horror Nerds. Name. Here Horror it is. Nerds. I almost screwed right up. There. See? Oh, yeah. Horror Nerds. Horror Nerds. Horror Nerds t-shirts and Savage is a badass name. Yeah, it's I think his savage. name, I think he goes by Wayne Savage as his personal. Oh, oh, wait, but so savage. I'll show you what this is what I got. So I'm gonna wear this one in my Lost Boys episode. 
We got a. There you go. There you go. That's got that one. one. Got. I think you got. Did you get a rabbit in red also? I did. I did. Yeah. You got this cool rabbit in red shirt. This one's yeah. cool. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. I like that one a lot. It a lot. I like a lot. And then lastly, I got this one here. Got it. Because I don't have enough Halloween 3 shirts. Oh, I want that one. I'm going to have to order it. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. I, I specifically said don't give that one to Chris. Of course. Because I got to have that one. I'm not doing viewer questions on this episode, so oh. I'll just go through these couple letters and we'll get to the meat and potatoes. So I know you guys want to hear us talk about Halloween kills. Yes. And we will. Hello, Sean and Chris. I wanted to write and let you know that I've been thoroughly enjoying your series, The Thing with Two Heads. To Sean, of course, a longtime fan of Horrors Hollow Grounds. Of course. Always look forward to your future adventures with the locations. My wife and I love to scout them when we hit the road. Used to see you during the convention days, too. Good times. Also, you have been have an awesome collection, sir, and have inspired me to get back into mass collecting. To Chris, want to say I'm a big fan of your work and special effects. I was fortunate enough to get to film as an extra on Halloween Kills, and I got to see you do your work in person and what appeared to be a possible victim of old Michael Myers. I was one of the recovering patients in the emergency room gurney scenes with Jamie Lee Curtis. I think the crew and yourself used some of us for shadow work around the victim for cameras as well. We love your role as Officer Francis in Halloween 2018. Thank you dudes for a great series and I look forward to future episodes and or to see you at a convention soon. P.S. I've included the, uh, yeah, the thing for, he wants a picture. Yes, we took care of it. Rock on, Barry West. Ah, oh, thanks, Barry. Thank you. That's Thank awesome. You, Barry. Nice. Thanks, Barry. That's and I'm cool. pretty certain I sent Barry something, too. Although I've run out of pre-signed photos, so I'm going to need to get some from you one day when I see you again. Okay. Uh, this is from Paul... House an hour, who we've, I believe we've met now. Sean and Chris, I wanted to let you know that my son had a great time at our first experience at Horror Hound in Cincinnati. Sean, I know you're super busy, but you still took a few minutes to talk with us. Thanks. It was awesome meeting you. Chris, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you as well. You're an amazing talent. We loved Fear Street. Bread slicer scene was literally mind blowing. <laughs> so looking forward to Halloween Kills. I thought it was awesome that you said that you watch the original Halloween a few times a year as comfort food. I know what you mean. Meeting Mr. Castle at the convention as well was a definite highlight. Discovering the Thing with Two Heads podcast last year was a great thing for me with all the COVID stuff and working a stressful job, licensed clinical social worker, working with kids with various mental health issues. It got me through tough times. Again, thank you all for what, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Again, thanks for all you both do. Keep the content coming. Paul House an hour. P.S. I have a get off my lawn. Semi truck drivers who stay in the left lane and do not get over to the right. Frustrating. I agree with that one. <laughs> I agree with that one. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. It was a pleasure meeting you as well. And thank you, Paul. That's really nice. Those are really sweet things to say. Got one more. One, one more. more. Oh, this is. What is. Uh. Oh, I think I just kept this because I thought it was so funny. A guy named Gary Trujillo sent a, a a request for stickers, and I sent him stickers, but he actually wrote the request on, like, a newspaper, which I just <laughs> thought was bizarre. But, but okay. It, it was okay. different. You know, he's, right. he's not wasting paper. He's down to earth. He's down to earth. That's he, is. he is. He's, he's salty. Last but not least, our good friend... Colin Murdy. Oh, wait. Well, uh, have we heard from Colin Murdy then? Uh, what does Colin have to say at the moment, man? He sent us a bunch of goodies. Oh, Colin sent us goodies. I've been following Colin on IG. He's quite the lad posting things and he likes to post the sexy girls as well. He's oh, sexy. Colin Murdy. He's been posting <laughs> sexy girl pictures. I think so. Like, is it him or something? Maybe I think so. I appreciate it. 
He sent is. this Misfits postcard that says, Hi, Sean. Here are the Jaws goodies as promised. I have added in some extra bits and pieces for you. One of the LED spooky houses is for Christopher and one of the bags of candy. Enjoy, Colin. Oh, thank you. Because he had posted about this coming out, a Jaws cereal. Oh, wow. And I said, I have to have that. And oh so God. he sent me a box. Wow. I haven't tried it yet. It looks terrible, but I'm going to, you know, multi grain shapes doesn't oh. sound scrumptious, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Does taste it taste test. like chum? Tastes I'm going like... to do a tasting video. Then he oh, sent me awesome. a Jaws uh, bath bomb and mug that unfortunately got broken oh, in the no. mail. Oh, no. That's life. And then he sent me some various gross, you know, like uh, candies. Well, Snot I got to say, Mr. Colin Murdy didn't send me anything. Colin the Caterpillar. Oh, didn't send me anything, did you, Colin? No, he did. No. He sent he sent you a Colin the Caterpillar. Oh. He sent you some boo, boo, drop, boo drops. Boo, boo drops? Thanks, and Colin. And these... These are the, he sent me one of these too. It's it's a light. It's very cool. It lights up, but inside oh. it's got um, uh, butter biscuits. Oh, yeah. Did I it's, get one? Yeah, this is yours. Oh, butter yeah. biscuits from Colin. That's great. <laughs> By the time you get back, they're going to be stale. Oh. No, they're sealed. They're sealed. So you're you're in business. Thank you, Colin. Say so anyway, Colin good. hooked us up. He's a Thanks, gentleman buddy. scholar. Well, he's Colin Murdy. How do you, I mean, come on. I may try one of these Colin the Caterpillar spooky mini Colin faces. How funny is that? Spooky mini <laughs> Colin. That's what it says. <laughs> spooky funny. mini Colin face. I don't know what it is. It, what is it? I don't know what it is. Let's find Open out. it up and try it. I think it's cookies. Oh, wait. I don't know what the fuck this is. What is Colin the Caterpillar? It must be a Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Just eat it. And it's not bad, just white chocolate. Oh, that's so lovely. It's racist. Mm. <laughs> that's racist. What's the one you, you said is a superior chocolate? You always said the white chocolate's a superior. Is white chocolate just another name for white privilege? <laughs> well, why is dark chocolate or black chocolate is more popular so it is because always bet on black man that's what wesley snipe said that's right hmm. now with the gooey center snot shots delicious boogies nice all right here we go is colin this... this is for you baby <laughs> now are you gonna eat all this shit for the rest of the show no there's only two things Oh. I already tried the cookies. They're good. Uh, they're they good. good. Yeah, they're good. Nay likes them a lot. So, Bogers. oh boy, Bogers in a bag. Sticky and sweet. It says apple flavor gummy sweets with Ooh. black currant gooey center. Did I get some of that? Uh, you got the poo ones. You got the. I don't know. Colin so, sends me poo. All right. I see where we stand, Colin. It looks like it. a little green make, poo. I made Colin an international celebrity, and he's sending me shit. I got it. I got it. How is it? It's not bad. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Right. It's basically like a green apple gummy. I'll eat those. You're making me want to eat stuff. No. Huh? So let's talk about hauling kills, shall we? Okay. I'll put these away as to not tease you. Um, hauling kills. Let's talk about hauling kills. And, 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 and oddly enough, it's it's funny. <clears throat> My first thing about Halloween kills is this: before we get into the film, is and and phil i believe it was phil who was in his letter that you just read was saying you know times were tough and we've been helping get people through the pandemic and tough times and stuff it's still pretty tough out there everybody things are still tense out there 
you know, COVID's still running around. Things are tense. I still feel a tension out there in the world still. It's lighter than it was. But it's lightening it's, up. It's lightening up, but it's still, I still feel people um, still suffering from the repercussions of the whole COVID pandemic and Trump era and all that shit, whatever you want to say. Yeah. All the stuff. So I still, you know, it's still there and it's tough. It's tough for people. And I think people need to lighten the fuck up. Uh, and stop being so angry with each other and stop being so rude to each other. And stop, stop, just stop already. Enough. Just stop for a minute. Stop or my mom will shoot. Exactly. So that being said, Halloween kills. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, you know, look. How many times have you seen it now? Uh, this version? Twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. Uh I, you know, look, if you don't like it, that's cool. It's not for everybody. I understand. It's okay. I'm not going to say you're entitled because no one's entitled to anything. So, but my point is, is that I don't want to hear about it. If you don't dig it, I don't want to hear about it. I get, I, 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 then just don't say anything. Like, if you like it, that's cool. If you don't like it, I don't want to hear about it because I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, just don't say anything. Okay. First of all. Yeah, it's got problems. It's not a perfect movie. My point being is that I, I just wish some people, more people, were, were just happy about the fact that we got a pretty cool Michael Myers movie. And Michael Myers was brutal. And he went to see, it's a guy in a mask killing people. And if you went for really anything other than that, then you're fooling yourself. Luckily, I think David Gordon Green did a good job adding some spice to it, putting story into it putting some heart there's moments of feeling there's moments of tragedy and sadness which personally i've never really experienced in most of the halloween sequels what we got to have in this one well i went for the social commentary and i definitely got that <laughs> that's my sarcasm but, anyway. <laughs> i know i get it but uh that being said um i really enjoyed this cut it, it, i saw it at the premiere this this version for the first time with you mm -hmm. and uh uh i really thought it was good does it have issues sure it has issues i'm not going to review it here really i don't want to get into that review of it but um <laughs> uh, 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 sean will do that for us but uh no, he's still got to work with the guy <laughs> i still i enjoyed it i thought it was really fun and cool and and <clears throat> it was it was just so glorious to go see a halloween movie at halloween time all that cool stuff in it and Michael Myers being a badass and, and some really cool stuff. So I, I, I enjoyed it. We can get I, into details, but go ahead. I enjoyed it. I, I had a lot of fun with it. Overall, I liked it. I have a lot of issues with it, as I've voiced to you several times. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I agree with you. I'm happy to have a Myers movie. It it, it it it's it delivers on all the things it needed to deliver on um sure is there a lot of what kind of moments yeah um sure there's a lot of bad dialogue and um plot points that make no sense but at the end of the day shut People up eat your popcorn you know what they didn't get that point across that's my i'm hoping in the the longer cut they really kind of hammer home with that evil dies tonight chant because I, I was like, does it tonight? Really? Or is that where we're going for? Is it? Uh, but, 40 years ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse with some of the things I've, I've had to say about this movie. But, you know, right. again, and I'm just going to, this is probably the last time I say it. They should have not dis. They should have not gotten rid of Halloween too. It should have been part of the mythology. It would have made all that stuff they did make so much more sense of haunting the town and, you know, because the guy has been incarcerated for forty years. He killed five people. It's not a big deal. Why is Lori still living there if she's so haunted? She really spent forty years building this house contraption, you know, to you know, so you're going back room to and. 
Huh? You're going back to 2018. Yeah, I'm, well, no, because it all ties into it. Because in, I mean, I thought it was a little ridiculous in 2018 that she went through all that <laughs> stuff to capture this guy that's been locked up for 40 years and really only went after her once because had he stalked her to the hospital, then yeah, this guy's after me kind of thing. But since we that never happened, um, I, you know, but the, the way they were just hammering home the he's haunted this town for 40 years and all these people are going to band together to go kill him. Most people probably would have no idea who he was. I like, think what? that was the point of the story, though, was that it was them that created this mythology as ridiculous as it was. I think it was supposed to be ridiculous that these people created this ridiculous mythology over this guy. Yeah. And also, too, if you if you're going to get into that, then it's like I, I one of the one of the things that interests me is that the different things that people don't like about it, it all is very subjective and a matter of taste. It's a matter of people going, well, I wanted this. Well, I wanted that. I find that most things are, are there's all these different things that people didn't like about it, but they mm. liked all of this. So that being said, it's like, look, you could sit there and go. You know, for there's this guy, and it's I found it unbelievable that this happened or that happened. It's a guy in a mask who's still killing people after 40 years on Halloween night, just so happens. And it's like, if you can, you, you, you're forgiving that, but you can't forgive all these little silly details <clears throat> that really don't well, change much about the iconic. It's just, I know, it's just like, I mean, Nancy Stevens' character. I um, mean, she barely had an encounter with him. Barely. Right. You know, right. he jumped on top of a car and smashed a window. She's right. so traumatized that she has to meet up with these people every year. And how would she even know them? She never met them. Well, you're still traumatized about the girl that got in your car out front. <laughs> what are you talking about? The oh, girl got that got in the, your the car. <laughs> I'm not traumatized. I didn't even bring it up. Some girl tried to steal my car. That's a whole nother story got it on tape and I and she got caught and I pressed charges so that's a whole nother story exactly. but but no you know there's things like that are kind of like and why the hell would this older woman hang out with these kids I mean right. it, 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 there's you know but, but yet everyone was happy to have her back and why is and why is Charles Cyphers not hanging out with them you know he, he should be traumatized killed his daughter and he let it happen you know <laughs> um but uh I don't know. There's things like that. And, you know, there, there's just, there's these little things that like, well, let I me feel ask like you they, this. If, <laughs> if you were to unpack those characters more mm -hmm. in the movie, if you're really going to concentrate on why Nancy Stevens character is trying to, why the sheriff brackets where he is, where he is. If you were to really focus in on that, is that the movie you'd really rather see? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, so I know I, I don't know I just I just feel like you know a lot of those things were an afterthought like mm -hmm. what Nancy Steve I, I you know I think they kind of just threw her into that like you know they they got her on board and it's like oh we can put her in the you know with the with the with the kids when they're doing their survivor thing you know but they don't really think it through and the Charles Cipher is being a security guard at the hospital it's like what kind of pension did this guy have I mean, he was a sheriff of a town he's really gonna at 80 plus years old is gonna be a security guard at a hospital i, I don't know i you know i start i there's just there's so many other ways i can already i can just think of a better way right now that that would have worked you know having cypher sitting on a couch drinking a beer and the news report come on and see him reacting to it and getting up and going grabbing a gun out of a out of out of his drawer you know and 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 then going out to be a part of that mob that to me is more realistic you know something like that but anyway um well it's it's I, again it's interesting to me that people want realism here but not over here no but no, no. It, the, the 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 that that part of the halloween legacy is 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 always been consistent but to be but said it's, it's like you can never I want, satisfy yeah, I everybody want this, no, you can't. And it's yeah. like, I want this to be real, but I don't want this to be real. Yeah. I, I want the fantastical part of this, but I but the rest of it needs to be based in reality. It's like, eh, it's a fucking Halloween movie. Make up your mind. It's always been that way. But it I also, it, I feel like that the filmmakers didn't really know what they wanted to do. 
because I really felt like they were felt like they were downplaying the supernatural element in 2018, but then they went hard with it and kills like he's transcending every time he kills, you know, that was another thing, man, overwritten speeches in this movie. were just like, I, I, I'm with you on the speeches. I, 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 again, I think that is part of the mythology. That was the point of the movie is that he's not becoming supernatural. All that stuff is in fact, it's just, hearsay just because someone says it doesn't make it fact and i think that was the 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 subtext of the film was that just because someone says somebody is something doesn't mean it's true doesn't mean it's reality and i think that was part of the social commentary that hmm. actually i actually enjoyed it, so whatever <laughs> all i know is michael myers is homophobic so <laughs> <laughs> And he hates love, the and he hates the fire department. And he hates the fire department. Which I tell which, you, if you're a gay oh man in the fire department, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Oh Big my time. god! I remember just the other day, a friend of mine, uh, Jason Collins, who's a, a really good effects guy. He uh, he sent me a, a, a picture. He texted me a picture of a headline that says <laughs> Halloween yeah. kills Michael Myers is homophobic or something like that. Yeah are you kidding me and he said even the shape isn't immune to cancel culture <laughs> yeah i mean it's just i mean if there's one thing michael myers is is he does not discriminate he he kills no. everybody yeah. first responders exactly. gays yeah. blacks yeah. Yeah. latinos yeah everybody. doesn't matter You're except not for except there's somebody posted baby. some kind of thing that he that he doesn't kill kids and why is he drawing the line there he should be killing kids too it's like good god well man. he killed a kid in in 2018 the one in he the did. truck he did but what's where's the age limit there right. where does michael draw the line what's the cutoff yeah <laughs> yeah he left the baby alone in 2018 right. he was right. like ah I guess once you go through puberty or you're about to, you're good to go. He wants the he wants you to have he wants you to feel fear and a baby yeah. wouldn't know any difference. Like I'll be back for you when you're scared right. of me. Right, so, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. But uh, but yeah. anyway, overall, had a good time with it. Um, you know, I, I really I, I really wish um that they had stuck with that original opening the very first draft of the script i got sent that opening that you didn't know it was 1978 yet and it was young hawkins coming home and finding his wife oh, yeah. cheating him. yes that's right i loved that opening because i did too i liked it too a lot it started off with this you know kind of he was had been drinking which i yeah. think kind of was part of the whole thing of him shooting the cop by accident yeah. he was supposed to be inebriated in the original yeah. script Right. but um he, they're fighting they were kind of having an argument and all of a sudden you hear the gunshots and then he opens the front door and you see Lindsay and tommy run by and yeah. you realize oh shit it's that night i mean i'm getting goosebumps just talking about that i yeah. can't believe yeah. they they took that out because yeah. that was a great opening i agree i i enjoyed that opening very much i thought the, the draft before this one was 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 better i i enjoyed no. it much more there was a lot more there are a lot more layers and, and like and backstory things that that earlier you said you wanted it was, it was yeah. there was more of that especially with hawkins there was a lot more i think i read a draft of halloween kills that like at least a third of the movie was flashback mm -hmm. if not half of it <clears throat> Yeah. So I remember reading that draft going, this is amazing. Like half of the movie takes place in 1978. You know what? After watching that movie and really thinking more about it, I thought to myself, Halloween Kills should have been an entire flashback movie. It should have been a movie that picked up where, where the first one ended and expanded on that mythology that made the stuff in 2018 make much more sense. You know what I mean? They could have almost made Halloween two, redone it in a way, their own way, and made him more of a menace to that town. That you know, right. I, I think the fans would have lost their minds if oh, they God, had gone yeah. in that direction. You know, yeah. And yeah. then you could have done for the third one could have been maybe a combination of kills and ends. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, you never know what's going to work. What's you know, but. Yeah. Plus, let's look too. There's a lot of chefs in that kitchen. Man. 
no for sure a lot of chefs in that kitchen yeah uh so that could have very well been the intention but also too you're dealing with a budget doing a doing a 1978 period piece you know half the movie is expensive yeah it's a lot more expensive than you think it is, or people think it is and and uh, you know, my guess is that's why they mixed that is because just the, the budget was yeah. too big for what they wanted to spend. <laughs> uh, but I, I really enjoyed that draft. I tend to, when I do a movie, I'm just not to sidetrack. I tend to like movies. I tend to like the draft before the shoot draft, mm -hmm. a, a draft or two before the draft that's shooting is the best draft. And then they develop it too far. And they trim it too much and they try to appease too many people with that final draft because the final draft or two goes through the filters of all the higher ups before it's signed off on. Mm -hmm. So um I, I wish they would have went with that other draft, but I'm still happy with the way. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> what about the 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 uh, why did they cut the ending? Because the, I didn't I never saw the cut. I don't, I don't think I saw the cut with the original ending, but I know they shot it because there's clips of it in the trailer, but the, it was originally ended where Lori calls, calls, uh, Judy Greer on, on her cell phone and Michael answers right. and she realizes it's him by hearing the breathing. And then she says, Michael, I'm coming for you. Right. And then you see her leaving the hospital, carrying the knife or whatever. Right. That just seems like a, like a more like fuck yeah kind of like I agree. you know why did they cut that do you know uh apparently i think it was was it miramax or something i don't know um they 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 had a screening for the executives and this is what i read and <clears throat> michael walks to the window and some somebody said that's there's your ending you should just cut out of it right there because the rest is is just goulash goulash fluff uh you should just cut out that's your best thing because you can't you're not going to get any better than judy Greer being murdered and then the shape standing over her body that's it anything else is, is just you're adding so mm -hmm. that's what that's why i was told they, they got rid of it it's in mm. it's in a couple articles david says why they got rid of it mm. well even if she called and he just picked up and she heard the breathing and you just ended it on that that could have been cool too. Oh, well, I how, agree. The yeah. look on the look on Jamie Lee Curtis's face in that cut, because uh -huh. I've seen it when she picks up the phone and she just hears the breathing. The look on her face, it just is a testament to how good of an actress that woman is. I mean, the look is just like you're like, I got goosebumps just now. You're like, oh God. Yeah. That's when they should have cut out, you know, right there. Yeah. So yeah, so let's talk about what we really liked about Halloween Kills. What we really loved about. It. What did you well, really love about it? Well, uh, what I loved, obviously, the flashback stuff seems to be the stuff that's resonating the most with the the OG fans. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that 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 stuff just I remember just being floored, you know, just especially when Loomis popped in there. It was like, yeah, you know, because I you you know you even kept that from me. You know, it was, it was a surprise. So, um, it was hard. That was hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was, that was really cool. Um, and boy, Tom Jones knocked it out of the park, just having, you know, looking like him and then what you did to make him look just like him. Uh, that was, you know, that also, was great. too, I think he did a great job with some of his mannerisms. The he way did. He did. The way he run, you know, moved and, and stood. And I, I thought he did a great job. With the, with the movements and everything. yeah um but uh you yeah, know that was that i i love that i mean all your gags were great um i was curious you know because this is the kind of questions fans are probably going to ask and stuff i mean was there anything cut any of your any of your gags cut um i know there was stuff that you never shot because i remember when i was on set that night you told me about something that wasn't being used because they ran out of time what do you remember about that? i remember a lot of stuff uh, just because of time uh, but i know nancy stevens died a different way 
uh, yeah. we were supposed to bash her head in the steering wheel over and over and over and over again and her face caves in. Uh, we made that dummy. I had, yeah. We made that head and, and everything caved in. So, that's the thing that you said. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Um, the other thing was... Uh, was there that, something with a dog? No, the dog was in it. Oh, okay. Uh, we just didn't see much of it, uh, but dog was in it. Uh, the the mob uh, beatdown, there was a lot more to that that yeah. I think... That, that there was a lot more that we planned to shoot that we didn't, but there's a lot more of it that we did shoot that I'm being told will be in the the, uh, the DVD mm-hmm. cut for extra features. So we did we did we did more of that. Like that was more. that was probably one of the disappointments for me was that that mob fight because you just there was such this build up to it, and then when it happened. It just, it was so sort of, it was all shot, you know, on a black sound stage where, you know, you could tell it was on. I mean, it, you couldn't really hide the fact it wasn't in the neighborhood and it just felt real artsy, little quick cuts. And it, it, it didn't pay off to this moment. It should have been. It right. kind of felt like somebody went, ah, oh, we don't have time to do that. Let's, it's just, man, get a couple shots in there. He kills them. <laughs> boom, move on. Well, we especially spent, the Tommy Doyle thing. Yeah, I mean, there's all this buildup of this vibrato, and then him literally coming at him, and you know, right. it's killed immediately. Well, yeah, there's there's more to that, and there was more more mob. But the reason why we didn't shoot it out in the neighborhood was because we ran out of time. The sun came up, and we 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 didn't get to it. We couldn't get to it. We just it wasn't. So and we could and it's expensive to go back to a neighborhood residence and shoot for a whole nother night and shut the whole place down. So so that was the reason why we didn't shoot the rest. We shot some of it there, but again it was time and, and you know, schedule wise, doing makeup effects is a time consuming thing, especially if you want it practical. So sometimes, you know, ADs and, and, and producers and things, they don't schedule enough time for for, for what David wants or what I want to do. So unfortunately stuff gets cut and we ended up shooting uh, on a stage. It was the only other really way we could do it was do it that way, that kind of artsy way. Um, I mean, I would have even been happy with, I would have been happier with if they would have just shot it on the 78 neighborhood stage and right. just everything blurred out in the background, but you could at least yeah. see houses and stuff, you know, yeah. would have looked better. Yeah, I think he. I think David tried something that, you know, maybe in the extended cut works a little better. I don't. I don't know. I, I wanted to do a lot more crazy stuff, but it was just like, oh, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Hmm. Yeah. Do what you can do. You know. Well, I I thought the I really enjoyed the Big John Little John uh, dynamic. Did I you really? That, I thought they were, they were funny. It, um, and they were kind of you know two of my favorite characters in the movie um yeah i yeah it was uh i thought um the uh carmella and michael uh smallwood they i thought they were great um you know i i didn't i didn't really care for the way anthony michael hall played tommy doyle um i just i felt like it was a it, there was there was moments there that were just like I don't know like the the scene say in night the night. Huh? say night night say night night <laughs> say night night no like the scene in the hospital when he's when, he, when suddenly like this weird New York accent comes out when he's like uh, you know when I was when I was a kid you took care of me I'm gonna take care of you you know it's like it is you know and then it, I was I was like I, I don't know it was, it, the whole thing was a bit much. Um, but uh, I thought Judy Greer, Judy, Judy Greer's great. Um, I, I have no complaints with her performance. Uh, Very underrated. Yeah. I mean, Andy was good, too. I mean, some of her dialogue was corny, but that's not her fault. I thought Dylan was really good, too. Yeah. Um, but uh, and he, I thought he had the best death as far as brutality. That was 
It just, it just, <laughs> the kid just got worked. <laughs> it's funny. We were supposed to do a fake head of him. Yeah. We were, we were going to do a whole fake head of him for that whole sequence <clears throat> and, and do something <clears throat> more makeup effects centered. I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad we didn't. David uh, ended up shooting that. And Michael Simmons ended up doing that really well. I thought they, that's all practical stuff. We just, turned his body this way and had him turn his head and went like that and yeah. flipped him over and went like that and it was all very down and dirty way yeah um i didn't I, uh, I didn't like the scene where young lonnie gets bullied because hmm. it, it it you know he was the bully i'm right. sure young bullies do get bullied and that yeah. sometimes makes bullies but i liked him being the bully you know, I didn't like them making him to be this scared little. I, I didn't. I thought that scene. Plus, I did the the kids they had playing the bullies were way over the top. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were very. Uh, they were very uh, cartoon Doyle rules. <laughs> yeah, <The> Doyle rules. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what's funny is Nay says that to me all the time when I take things too far. And I've, I never knew the reference. She had to show oh, it to really? me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> She'll be very happy that you've said that. Oh, Doyle rules. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm with you on that. I think it might have worked better if, if Lonnie was um, still a bully because he gets his, you know. Yeah. And he, he gets his. And, he would, and it scares the shit out of him. Yeah. I mean, it would have been great just to see him bullying other kids as he's trick-or-treating and then bump into the shape and then be pair uh, you know petrified but come on the shape looked really good when he's walking up that sidewalk to that he did like, he oh, did there's no there's there's no denying that <laughs> um but let's move on from halloween kills i think we've we've we we're gonna probably talk about it there's gonna be a lot of questions for you we killed it we, we killed, killed it, it. Yeah. um what have you watched otherwise anything good i just watched dune Oh, I, you know what? I have zero interest in Dune, and I and didn't I've, either. I, I mean, I didn't care for the original movie. I'm not a fan of the book. I've never read it. I, you know, everybody's jerking each other off about Dune. I don't care. I mean, but I mean, if it's good, I'll check it out. What did you think? I don't think you'll like it. No, no. It's uh, I like that director a lot. I think he's fucking amazing. Uh, I'm. Just, I'm a giant fan of Blade Runner 2049. I like that. I like the Blade Runner sequel. Uh, but uh, it, and it looks beautiful. The production design is amazing. Um, it's it's good. It's good. I'm still processing it because I just yeah. finished it. I'll watch time. it. I'll watch it on on it's, cable. It's 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 good. It's got. Eh, my, the biggest thing that stands out to me watching it, and apparently it's truer to the book than the than the other version was, is that it it um, it's amazing. And I know this is common knowledge, but it's amazing how much Star Wars ripped off Dune. Yeah, it's unbelievable how they got away with it. Really? Yeah. You just you're just like <laughs> you just rip that off i mean the force and the thing with the family and there's stormtroopers pretty much and there's like it's amazing uh so that kept creeping into my head while i was watching it kept distracting me but it's a beautiful film mm -hmm. and i could see why people are really liking it uh, so uh but the the ending let me down big time because mm -hmm. i was unaware there's going to be a part two I thought it was just this. So it came to the end and I went, what the fuck? That's it. And even still knowing there's a part two now, I'm still going, what the fuck? That's it. That's how you end this movie. So, yeah. uh, but it's okay. It's good. I, I you know, give it a shot. It's long. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what else did I watch? <clears throat> I watched, uh, uh, I watched, have you watched the movies that made us? I did watch a couple of those with you all over congratulations um, stephanie horror. goes is sean on everything <laughs> like yeah um horror expert and if netflix says it's true it's that true means it's true horror expert yes yeah but i had a good chuckle with that 
whoa <laughs> i have no idea why but um but no that i i i, I was pretty happy with how those turned out that was cool, yeah, cool. <clears throat> um you watch squid game i had not we're i think we're six episodes in and and it's it's entertaining it's 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 interesting it's sort of battle royale meets i don't know i heard if i i heard that I heard it's amazing. Everyone keeps telling me to watch it. And I'm like, okay, okay I'll get to it. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, we're, I'm digging it. We're probably going to get through another episode or two tonight. We only got three episodes left. Um, I started I watching. I love Battle Royale. I love Battle Royale. Yeah, I mean, it's got elements of that. You'll see what I mean. Um, and uh, I watched the first four episodes of Chucky, the series. Oh and um it's fun you know it's you know it's it's exactly what you expect it to be it's it, i mean it's it's uh i mean it, it's definitely you know silly but but fun and gory and definitely doesn't seem like something that would be on tv you know um but uh, uh yeah i i i i think there's they've only aired the first two but I had access to the first four, so I watched them. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, entertaining. All right. I'm curious that, to see where they go with it. That's not one that I'll probably watch. I'm I'm sure you're. Yeah, I, I didn't think Chucky would be high on your priority list. Any interest in the Dexter reboot? I know that's about to start. Uh, no. No, you weren't a fan of the show. No, not no. really. I'll watch it because I watched the original series. Um, I'm interested in seeing that. As far as movies, I don't, I don't know what I, I don't know if I've seen much lately. Um, hmm. I know we watched a couple things. Tried a couple things. I tried to watch movie. *Malignant*. I what tried to watch *Malignant*. What have we watched recently? *Dune*. No, um, free guy. Free guy. Um, Something uh, horror, like we watched the small horror. Movie. Um, his house. His house. With the the African immigrants. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I think that's it. Thank you, lovely assistant. <laughs> uh, sorry all right so you said you watched what was it called i watched his house what's that it's a horror film uh i think it's i can't remember i think it's a british horror film i think it's really good i enjoyed it really it's about a couple immigrants that move to london or england very poor neighborhood, a couple immigrants that moved to England and move into this house. Uh, and they've had a traumatic experience getting to England being immigrants. And it's, it's, it's pretty good. So hmm. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it's a very different kind of thriller horror. Uh, and I watched Free Guy, uh, the Ryan Reynolds video game movie. And? Uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds is funny. And then, didn't you say that you liked the bodyguards? Why? What was it called? Oh God, no, I didn't like it. No, it was terrible. <laughs> Hitman's bodyguards' wife or something. Yeah, I watched oh, that no, on the. I watched that on the plane to to Manchester. Oh, God, no, it's terrible. It was entertaining, but it's not good. No, it's not. he's funny. I like Ryan. Reynolds yeah, no, he's too. funny. But the free guys, if you have to be a video game guy to to like, I'm sitting there going. What the fuck are they talking about? Because I was never a video game guy. Never mm -hmm. have been, never will be. So it was a lot of it was above my head because it was for tech geeks. So. I'm trying to remember what I, I watched some Liam Neeson movie oh, on the plane. The That's what I saw. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. How bad was that? Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
that was the first movie I saw after the pandemic when I was in Australia. The theaters opened up. The only thing playing was The Marksman. So I went and saw it in Sydney. And I was like, this movie's terrible. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. No, that was really bad. Um, it, the selection on the plane was awful. I mean, really? it, was, it was really bad selection. Uh, usually. The, what? We turned off the light. Malignant. Oh yeah, okay. We turned yeah. that off. No, I tried to watch Malignant. I stopped. Yeah, we turned it off. Did yeah, we I, talk about this already? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I tried to watch Malignant for all you people out there are saying Malignant is his genius, most amazing, coolest movie ever. That movie's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's awful. I, I I'm going to get through it because I feel like I need to see the whole thing because so many people seem to love it. But I've, I've, I think I'm, I think I got like 20 minutes into it and I just, oh, I haven't been able to get back to it. It was just, it was, I really thought it was, it, it, it seemed like a weird parody. It didn't, yeah. it, I don't know if it's supposed to be so bad it's funny or if it's, I don't know. I'm with you on that. I, I kept thinking I was watching the wrong movie. Yeah. Like I kept going, I kept pausing it and checking it, like reading the cat, like, Get more info I'm yeah going, am i watching the right movie because is this the movie everyone's talking about because i think i got the wrong movie <laughs> yeah yeah no i felt that way too um it's not very good um i mean but you know i'll give it a i'll, I'll get through the whole thing you know I, I i like james wan's movies so that's why i'm surprised it, it felt like he suddenly had no budget and had to make something quick I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what's what's going on there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've seen. Like I, I've been rewatching a lot of stuff, so haven't been watching too much new stuff. Just yeah. been like, you know, I, because I've been working on. I've been doing a lot of research on Horse Hog Grounds episodes, so I've been rewatching other movies and um, trying to prep for for stuff. And I can't. I can't think. I, I know I'm missing stuff. I probably should have wrote down things yeah. that i watched but it's okay um, you've been busy go ahead what? <laughs> how was your uh how was your trip to uh was it manchester manchester yeah that was how, great how was, yeah yeah for the love of horror in manchester it was a great show man it was nuts it was packed I'll put some footage in here of how crazy it was. And one thing that was really cool is they had the the sexy sax man from Lost Boys there. Oh, yeah. And every day he played the song. I live. still believe. I still believe. Oh, I still believe. And, and dude, and they had flames. Like, wow. I'll put it on here, dude. It was it was crazy. He played wow. that song each day, and then they had an after party, and he did it again. He opened and closed with it. That's he's awesome. super cool. He's a really cool guy. I'd like to meet that guy. Yeah, he's he's awesome. I I like him a lot. And he and what's cool about it is he he's like in on the joke. You know, he doesn't take himself seriously, but he's good. He really sings good. He fucking, he's, I mean, he used to be Tina Turner's sax player. I mean, he's a legit, you know, magician or magician, musician, um, and a magician. He's a magician uh, too. <laughs> but no, he's, he's super cool. Um, so that was fun. And, you know, I flew in on Thursday and then got up Friday morning and me and my buddy Rich met with my other buddy, Steph Hutchinson, who he was the director on, 25 years of terror documentary that we did back when we were children. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we drove four hours to Wales to go to the American Werewolf in London's lo locations that are in Wales, like where they get out of the truck, where they're backpacking uh, and get to the slaughtered lamb. Wow. And yeah. And the, uh, the church next door with a that's enough scene happens. Um, and we reenacted that of course, for the episode and uh it was a blast um but yeah but it was that was a full day just to go to those locations sure. but dude so cool i'm so glad we did it 
Uh, now that I've done it, you know, yeah, yeah. at the I time, I was maybe, like, what are you thinking? I hope to maybe go there sometime to that. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping I'd love to get you in the, their show next year. Um, lots of fans were asking about you oh. and, um, you know, that would be awesome. Uh, we would have a good time. I would love it. Are you kidding me? I love it. Yeah. yeah. Right by the Manchester United soccer stadium. They like their soccer there. Yeah, I don't think they call it that, though. They don't. No. We'll leave it at that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun this past weekend. I just did Monster Mania in Pennsylvania. And, you know, Aaron Armstrong and Tom Jones Jr. had their first conventions ever. And they uh, were pretty blown away by it and had a great time. And they were a lot of fun to hang out with. And, of course... OG Shape was in the house, Mr. Nick Castle, and no one walks like me. James Jude Courtney was in the house. Um, <laughs> um, Nick sent me a text from his hotel room of him watching 20, 2018 was on, and he sent yep. me a picture of him watching me on the screen. I was like, oh, my he showed me the picture. He showed me the picture he took. <laughs> Yeah. It was funny because I was flipping through the channels in my room and that popped on. Yeah. And I was like, oh boy, move, <laughs> go back to watching Shark Tank. No one moves like me. Nope, they don't. They don't. No one needs true. No one needs, no one needs brown. Like nope. Nobody puts shape in the corner. <laughs> Nobody puts shapey in the corner. Shape, shape. Um, but uh, no, they, they, they crushed it. And James crushed it. James had the biggest line of anybody there, and he was the last one to leave every day. He was killing it. When he's when he's not killing it in Halloween Kills, he was killing it at the con. Um, that was it was fun, and it was their first time at this convention center, bigger venue. Um, I think it went really well. Uh, the only thing missing was you know there wasn't the after party vibe, you know, like it being in a hotel. Right. Um, and we were staying probably like 15 minutes away. Oh, so, wow. but, yeah, but really nice hotel. We all, um, we all had a good time and it, it was a trip because we're all staying at this hotel and there's no fans there. Right. And so we were all hanging out at the hotel bar and it was just the, the, you know, the actors, the guests and the, and the, the, you know, the agents and stuff. And it was just, there was nobody there chewing your ear all night and everybody could just kind of like be themselves. And it was, it was, that was pretty cool. You know, it was a different atmosphere, but it was fun. It was a nice uh, sort of breath of fresh air, not having to be on 24 seven, you know, like, Hey, well, yeah. And like, love to talk about my work, you know? So is the convention appearances going to die down for a little bit or is it still going strong? Um, there's still cons going on and, and, uh, Nay's going to Rhode Island comic con, not this weekend, but next weekend. And, but then after that, we kind of slow down to the end of the year, which I'm super good with. I I'm ready for a break. I want to get back into editing, you know, all these episodes I've shot. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's I'm I'm really looking forward to it. But unfortunately, I'm still busy as hell dealing with stuff people are trying to book for next year. So I'm constantly on the phone talking about, you know, a show in July of twenty twenty two. You know, it's like, oh just can we all talk about it after Christmas? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. give me just give me a little yeah. the, the well, COVID great. thing, man's made me you know, they keep saying how all you know they're having a hard time finding people to work anywhere. Like everybody's right. understaffed. I get it. Nobody wants to go back to work. It was like, yeah. man, this vacation life's kind of good, you know. <laughs> so I get it. Yeah. Well, I missed. I'm, I, I wish I could have done a couple of those calls. But... Yeah. Well, hopefully we're gonna get you in some next year as long as your yeah. schedule allows because you're gonna be busy busy yeah busy i got can you two. say what you're leaving to start yeah. working on or are you not allowed to say i don't know if i can or not <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know if I can or not. I mean, it's a given. I mean, it's been announced, right? Yeah. Well, I, I start Halloween ends in January. So I'm just now getting started uh, prepping and building that. Uh, and can I say it? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I well, you're know. starting to work on something else that you said you were going to be working on. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so I, I, uh, Let's leave it at that. It, yeah, I'm working on a portion of it. We're going to shoot a couple weeks of it uh, yeah. before we get into ads. So I'm going to go start shoot that for a couple weeks in Savannah, Georgia. Starting on that. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. to do that one. I think it, it's got some cool stuff. So I think it could be. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, the difference of tone between how we do this. <laughs> difference in tone? What do you mean? Why would there? I don't understand. Unless it was like the same person making it. I, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. Um, I've had too many Snickers bars. Uh, Snickers bars. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yes, very very busy. Uh, Going to be busy through the holidays, and uh, uh, I like that. I like working right up to the holiday, and I like being busy. I'll probably work through some of it. So it's going to be very busy, but I'm excited that we're going to do a live show still. So next Saturday night. Not the next Saturday. Sixth. Well, when this comes out, it might be next Saturday. Oh, okay. well, Depends on sixth. how quick. November 6th. November 6th. Saturday, November 6th, whether it's this Saturday or next Saturday, depending on how quickly I get this up online. That's right. It'll be a good time. We'll get back to answering your guys' questions. That's right. Uh, or can I even say that? now? I can't say your guys. Your person's questions. I don't know. People. Your. Our be friends. Your beans. I don't know. Questions. Our friends. Um, yeah, that'll that'll be fun to 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 interact with you guys again. It's been a while. I said it again. I keep saying guys. Ah, oh, stop it. Ah, oh, not allowed. Even to. though our demographic is like ninety nine point nine percent male. I, uh, I, I don't know what's going on with that. The sex to show up a little bit. Um, <laughs> but maybe but yeah, that's come, why. Maybe that's on. why it's ninety nine point nine percent male. That's true. Because it is. Guys. It is sexed up. Uh, yeah, yeah that, so come come back November sixth and hang out with us and interact it, with us. And we'll it talk is the right date, you. right? It yes, is, right? November sixth. Yeah. I'm just double checking. I was just oh there. no. Oh, by the way, I just got this. Check this out. I just got this in the mail. What'd you get? You seen this? Oh, I haven't seen that. What is that? It's a mixtape. Uh, it's a mixtape from John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and Daniel Davies. It's a, it, it was, it was for the Sacred Bones membership uh -huh. club thing, and uh -huh. they got two different versions oh, of the cool. of the Kills record. Oh, cool! The, and I have, is, I have, I have one of those. It says, "This certifies that this copy of Halloween Kills original motion picture soundtrack by John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and Daniel Davies." was exclusively for members in good standing of the Sacred Bones Record Society. Ooh. I don't know which one is this is the exclusive. Oh, it's this one's the exclusive color apparently. I don't know. It's got some was this a sticker? It's got a sticker and this says Oh, it's my membership card, I guess. Yeah, I'm part of the Sacred Society apparently. Nice. It's just some fancy thing. They make you pay too much money for it to get an exclusive colored vinyl. Yeah. But you get that mixtape thing too, which is pretty cool. That is cool. But uh, have you seen this one yet? Up I there? haven't seen that one. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. So I just got that in the mail. So that's kind of neat. Very cool. Yeah. I've been, dude, I've been buying so much crap from Spirit Halloween. <laughs> I bought like every Killer Clowns item they've come out with. I even bought the the animatronic shorty figure. Right. I, I dude, I have no room for this stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Somebody needs to stop me. Yeah. It's getting out of. Uh, I, I shit you not. Yesterday I went into Spirit 
And the girl that works there says, why don't you just get a job here? I see you more than some of the people that work here. <laughs> she seriously said that. Boom. To wow. She's not fucking around. And I said to her, I tell said, her to shut the hell up. I said, shut your whore mouth is what I said. <laughs> no. No, I, I said to her, I said, really, the reason you keep seeing me is because I've been trying to find this. And I, I had the animatronic. Uh, I said, I keep yeah. coming in here trying to find this thing. If you guys would stock your shit, I wouldn't have to come in every day. I went to a spirit not that long ago just to see what they had. And they had nothing. It was shit. I was like, this place well, sucks. Yeah, the first, because, you know, there's all these shipping problems. You know, you hear about all these stories, all these shipping, the, the, the. Yeah. ships are docked they can't get into yeah. the port you know um for the first like month the spirit by my house the shelves were bare and i was like what the hell's going on here but then slowly but surely they're starting to get stuff in i mean i've noticed that at target too i went and looked in the halloween section at target it was like Nothing. empty yeah it's sad but they did have the, the spooky Oreo cookies, which I ate an entire package of. Is it just me, or do those orange <laughs> Oreo cookies taste better than regular yes. ones? Yes, yes, they, they do, do, right? Yes, they do. Because I thought Absolutely. they were, because they, I thought they just were regular. But then yeah. after Halloween last year, I was like, man, I'm back into Oreos, and I bought another bag of regular ones. And they yeah. taste like crap. Yeah, it's the orange ones taste amazing. The orange ones are amazing. Yeah, and it's not just mental. Okay, good. No, 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 I'll make sure. Yeah. But I haven't been buying anything. I've been good about that. Dude, it's it's out of control. My 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 toy room is like a disaster. It's just stacks <laughs> of stuff. Stacks. I mean, I I could sit here for another hour and just pull out stuff I've been buying and showing it off. It's because you make all that money off of Jimmy Shape. It's all because of Jimmy Shape. Jimmy Shape. I mean, if he didn't walk like that, I wouldn't be making the money I'm making. You wouldn't have that toy pile. I wouldn't. I Everybody know. knows it. I know. Everybody knows. Everybody's talking about the shape and the way he walks. Okay. All right. <laughs> all the smartest people know. It's true. <laughs> I could I could go grab something fun in the other room. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything worth showing real quick. Hold on. Okay. All right. I'll wait. Spooky. How do I look spooky? Do I look spooky? Okay. So did you get did you get any of these? No. You wanna know why? Why? Because they don't make them in my fucking size. Yeah, they don't make them in my size. Yeah, show size off more shit you? that I can't wear. What size shoe do you wear? 15. Oh, yeah. I think they only went up to what? 13. 13? Yeah. Yep. I guess I guess people with big feet don't get to have cool horror shoes. So, only little guys that shop at Heart Topic get to wear. I get it. So, Nay bought me these, right, for mm -hmm. my birthday. Yeah. And she she was all excited that she got me something I didn't know about. And then the, the morning they went on sale, a buddy of mine texted me and said, dude, you getting those new vans? I'm like, what are you talking about? And I went online and I bought like almost every pair. <laughs> so I end and I, I knew these were going to be the hot ones. Yeah. The Elm Street ones. So I bought yeah. two pair. So now I have three pairs of these. I got two pairs of these. Uh, I bought like everything else and I bought her a Lost Boys hoodie and so I do. I've got stacks of Vans boxes in the other room. It's it's. I'm a big nice. I'm a big fan of Vans, but the yeah. only the, I, no, they don't make them in my size. I'm I, I don't think I need to buy another pair of shoes for several years. Plus, I bought those. Oh, did you see those Kiss shoes that 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 company some company made a uh, shoes for each member of Kiss? No. I ordered them like over a year ago and I think they're starting to come out and I got those coming. I'm like, Oh, what, a, what? And now I'm like, good with the shoes. I'm I've got plenty of shoes. I think well, I don't. there's a shoe shortage. I'm dialed in. You're not, you know, well, 15 bro. Them some yeah. big feet. Well, fucking make, uh, why can't a guy with 15 shoe have a nightmare in Elm street shoe? It wasn't I don't long. know. I don't know. We're not allowed to have cool stuff. 
because of my genetics. That's just uh, shit makes me mad. There's a get off my lawn. That's a big get off my lawn. Huge. Look at these. Big get off my lawn. Oh, this stupid thing. You just got money to burn, don't you? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> this guy. Is, it... is that a puppet? How's he get? Hold on. Oh, is this the one? Oh, I didn't take the thing. Hold on. <laughs> There's another. I got two of them. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I went nuts with the killer clown stuff, bro. Check this out. Here we go. Yeah. This is my favorite thing, though. The cotton yeah. candy gun. Oh, that's cool. Check this yeah. out. Watch. Let me see if I can get it. <laughs> that's pretty awesome yeah uh, there's more i've got more but these I'm are sure. the highlights those are the highlights I got. yeah there's little there's these statues there's the the bat the killer clowns baseball bat there's the masks i went hard with the killer clowns this year you weren't clowning around there you go boy and on that note, on that um, note, we should call it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Open. Oh, by the way, oh, uh, I'll show this here. We have yeah. Mark Beer did a new bit of artwork for us for a potential t shirt. Yes. And I want to drop it here and get your guys' opinion. See what you think of this thing with two heads t shirt design. If you guys are into it, we're going to go ahead and have them printed. Like yes. real style, no yes. tea public shit. Even though the tea public stuff's actually really good, but they won't let us sell it for some reason. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get these printed. I think it's a pretty cool design. I wanted to keep it basic and not have our faces on it. And I dig it. I, dig I, I think it. it's a really cool design. This like yeah. scarecrow pumpkin thing. Yeah. So let us know if you like it. And if you guys give us the big thumbs up, we'll make it. We're going to go for it. I know you want the regular logo, which we should just do that. Too. We should do that, too. Yeah. We should do both of those. Yeah, but I think the pumpkin thing could be a sticker, too. That'd be a cool sticker. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looked creepy as hell. It did, it creepy. Uh, you, look, you look tired. I am. We're up too late watching Squid Game last night. <laughs> and then JC woke me up this morning. He, oh, he, why? He dude, want? as he's getting older, he just, he's losing it, bro. He just turned oh, 15 yesterday, his 15th birthday yesterday. And now he just gets up at early in the morning and starts barking. And it, you know. That's what that's what Beaker does. My cat Beaker, who's almost twenty, yeah, at four a.m. every single day, jumps up on the bed, starts meowing like the house is on fire <laughs> for no reason, right in my face, just meow, meow, meow. <laughs> and I'm like Beaker, meow. So what do you no do? Reason. I shove him away a little bit. Then he comes back, wow! <laughs> and I'm like, Beaker. And then I get up and I check to see if his water bowl is full and his food bowl is full. And he's all fine. Everything's fine. House isn't on fire. Every day. I think he's just. I, I think that's what's going on with JC. Yeah. But he wants us to feed him. But it's like, bro, you know, we feed you at the same time every day. But he's like, like, like get nope. up. It's getting close. It's right. almost time, bro. <laughs> Don't you want to start waking up and get ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's getting bad. It's getting bad. And I'm a super light sleeper. So just that. Meh, meh. I mean, I, I, I'm like, what? 
And then you, you peek down the stairs and he's just sitting down there looking up. <laughs> and all the other dogs are asleep on the yeah. bed and he's just staring up. I'm going to try to record Beaker yelling in my face. At I, I want to see that. It's, 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 it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. His little he's white 20. Meow. He's going to, I think he's at least 18, 19 years old. Yeah. Wow. That's he's crazy. my boy. He's my boy. Yeah. He's my special boy. I'm the same way with JC, so it's oh. hard for me to get mad at him. I know. I can't get mad at him. I can't I can't get mad at him because I'm just like he's a crazy old man and he's he's Captain Fuzzy Pants. I gotta figure out. Like, yeah. No way. All right. All right. Well, Saturday night, <laughs> November sixth. Sixth. We'll see you guys there on YouTube live. Get some right. questions ready. Ask Chris to make you masks. Do all this stuff. <laughs> oh, real quick. There is one question I want. There's, I keep getting asked, and I'm hoping people watch this and quit asking me. People keep asking what scene Nick Castle was in in Kills. He was in a scene that got cut that's supposedly yes. going to be on the DVD or Blu-ray, but it was a POV shot from the drone going into the bathroom is what yes. he told me and yes. you see his reflection in the mirror yes that was the shot yes in the in the couple's house uh uh yes the interracial couple's house interracial couple's house he was in yes. the bathroom when he opens up the kid guy opens up the bathroom and you see him for a second yeah 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 so that that so but he is in the film as the doing all the breathing so and there was shut up about it. There's extensive <laughs> breathing. It's funny when he told me he did the breathing. I'm like, who notices the breathing? And then I see the kills and I'm like, God dang, they really went heavy with the breathing. <clears throat> so Nick really brought it with the breathing. Nobody the breathes oxygen. like nobody breathes like Nick. Nobody. <laughs> nope. 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 He'll tell you. All right. So on that note. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in about a week and a half. Oh, and also. Or not. I don't know. Yeah, whenever also, this comes up. Thanks. I mean, we're about to hit 20,000 subscribers. So thank you Ooh. for that. That's that's a, a little milestone for us. I mean. Thank you, guys. We yeah. appreciate that. For two guys that haven't done the show in a while, we really appreciate it. So thank you, yep. guys, for coming back. And come back again. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.